Okay. So here we are, question one on this methods paper. This is the higher paper. So a classic multiplication problem. So we've got some a fact given to us here, and we're being asked to use that to help, uh, help us do these calculations. All you've got to do is compare what they've given you here with what they've given you there. So this is 10 times bigger. It's gone from 2.6 to 26. The 78 stayed the same. So that tells me my answer is going to be 10 times bigger than my answer up here. So my answer really is going to be 2,028. Same idea here, except this one's got bigger by times by 1,000, or it's got bigger by three spaces. This one here, compared to the 78, has got smaller. So overall my answer, two, three bigger, one smaller, it's the same. My answer is going to be two bigger than my answer here. So that's two, oh, two, eight, with a zero on the end. It's two spaces bigger, actually a hundred times bigger than my answer here. Same one, this one here, similar idea, except they try to confuse you by writing it in the wrong way around. So I, I tend to use these numbers and write it back as a multiplication sign. So something times something equals. Well, I know the answer is 202.8, which is what I've got here. And I know my first number is really 26. And then this is a thing I don't know. So, well, 26 is 10 times bigger than the 2.6. 202.8 is the same. Well, what do I have to do to put it here to get the answer? The same as the answer up here. If this one's 10 times bigger, this one's going to be 10 times smaller. So my answer's got to be 7.8. Okay? Straightforward question one, hopefully. Just the last one. Make sure you know how to rewrite this one when they change everything around, when they use a division instead of a multiplication.